Yuma. Yeah. Okay, everyone. We're taking down Georg, destroying Deus, and saving the world. Yeah, for the world! The catastrophe has yet to spread. If we can defeat Deus, then... Then let's stop talking about it and get in there! And so you have come, just in time, to watch the dawn of a new age. Slayer. This is his doing, isn't it? He was all but bathing in the energies of the world dragons. But even this timely return amounts to nothing. This is the foretold hour, and here is the appointed place. Almighty Deus is come. And so, what do you think of Deus? Is it not beautiful? Crafted by the knowledge of ancient times. You called it Machina just now. That's far closer to the mark than any of you know. Tremble now, for you look upon the single greatest legacy of the High Elves. The almighty Dragon Energy Utilization System. The what? Long ago, the High Elves conceived of a more efficient way to tap Dragon Energy. What they created was truly deserving of the mantle of Godhood, of the holy name, Deus! No, the High Elves were the ones who created Deus? <laughs> Many reacted the same way you do now. They balked at the thought of harvesting the power of dragons. Have you ever once considered how wasteful your songs are? To inefficiently have dragons cooperate. Instead, this system of utilizing the pure energy of dragons is so much more efficient and beautiful. How can you call that beautiful? But, superb as it is, Deus is incomplete. It lacks the ability of its own will. And therefore, I will inherit Deus, granting it will, making us the ultimate existence. First by Ouroboros, then by the Sanguine Church, and now, by my hand, the work of the Ancients is complete! I shall become a god, the perfect being that surpasses the power of even the world dragons. A perfect being? There's no such thing. You're delusional. How could you call a machine that sows catastrophe and suffering perfect? Expand your vision, boy. See the greater picture. 
The catastrophe, too, is part of the greater cycle. A perfect system of death, rebirth, tampering. The strong will survive. The profaned Earth will be washed clean of meekness, and a more perfect world will emerge, recast in its new God's image. Sinners and heretics will perish, and the worthy faithful who remain will inherit the Earth. What could be more perfect than a world united by faith? This guy's lost his damn mind! This area will have to be purged of impurities before I undergo the sacred rite of mantling. You already walk a doomed path. My Lord Deus stirs to drink of the World Dragon's energies. It will be some time yet before the system can accept its inheritor safely. I'll simply have to crush you before that time arrives. Prepare yourselves! For I am no merciful god! I best you! Callahorn is a blade without peer, so why? But this was not a meaningless struggle. The time has finally come. Almighty Deus has awakened. The inheritance is upon us! Petty heretics, sinners, now you shall know the wrath of a god! That doesn't change anything. We're here to destroy Deus, aren't we? All this means is we have to take them down together. Ha! <laughs> now you're talking my language, Yuma. Let's do it. Yes. If we stop them here, we can save the world from the catastrophe. Georg is definitely hurting from our last attack. We just need to keep up the offensive. I won't let him take over the world. Especially not after what the church did to Ed. Yes, for Beatrice. My heart, my soul, my very self, all of it into the song. We will not fail. <laughs> Such resolve in the face of doom. Very well. Come then, and no judgment. My first act as Deus will be to purge the pitiful sinners before me. You wish. I don't care who you are or whose power you've stolen. We have a world to save. No more Gjord. We're ending this!
fuck or what? How about that? He has to be down this time. Yeah, we won! We have to have won! What a fight, though. Hang on. Something's not right. What's going on? So this is the true measure of the Dragon Ears. I suppose I should be impressed. Not once did I think you might still be a thorn in my side at this stage. After the mantling. But thorns are all you are. Small, brittle things to be brushed clear of the path to godhood. His wounds are closing up again. Oh no! He's healing much faster than before! Then our only option is brute force. Some manner of attack so great that even Deus cannot heal through it. Right. He has to be weakened by now. If we just work together. No. He'll keep getting back up. We need a sure way to end it. There is a way. There is? Yeah. We have him cornered. It'll work. It has to. Just leave it to me, okay? Yuma? And, hey, thanks for everything, guys. Goodbye. Huh? Yuma, what are you... Yuma!
dragon! The time has come! I don't care what I have to sacrifice! Come to me! Now! We end this here! Yuma really just... This is the true strength of the Shining Dragon. A full transformation? No. No, it's impossible! I have come, Defiler, alongside Yuma and his companions. I swear I shall end what began at Ragnarok. When last we clashed, I could only seal your strength away. But this time, Defiler, this time I am whole. Your existence has desecrated this world long enough. Be gone! Did he do it? I can't tell. Yuma... Is Georg... <sighs> I am not Yuma, child. I am the Shining Dragon. Oh, m my apologies, Your Radiance. Your apologies you may save. As for Georg... He will not rise again. Then... Then we did it! Hey, everyone! We saved the world! Thank you, Your Radiance. It was not my hand alone that laid Deus low. Only with my loyal dragon ears at my side could I have done this. I owe a debt of gratitude to you all. One I can never repay. <laughs> hey, no big deal. All that remains now is to reconstruct the broken seal. Deus is gone, but I fear this place may be tainted forever. It would be best to contain it. The ravages of the catastrophe run deep here. If 
I seal it away once more. Shining Dragon, let's not repeat history. Hmm? Genus? And Excella? Indeed. Shining Dragon, we have a chance to eradicate the catastrophe here and now. We don't have to keep containing it and staving it off. You know there's a way. The last song. I do. And you've even brought the bearer of the harmonic I thought lost. The last song. The song of the Earth. Performed correctly, it would generate enough energy to repair the damage done here. If you seven dragon ears make your hearts as one, and give voice to that song, it could be done. I have faith. All right. The work you started at Ragnarok, here and now, we'll finish it. In Yuma's memory, so his sacrifice won't be in vain. In vain? Wait, hold on. Janus? What are you saying? Yes, you make it sound like Yuma's gone.
You and your friends have my gratitude, Yuma. Thank you for giving me faith again. Faith? What do you mean? When Ragnarok brought ruin upon the world, it took my hope, my faith in a better tomorrow. I despaired that men and elves abandoned us. I lost sight of a great truth, that the small beings of the world, the meek, are its greatest strength. You and your friends, Yuma. You have allowed me to relearn this truth for myself, day by day, and I stand humbled. The mistakes of the past, the ones I feared you could never learn from, will not be repeated. I have faith in that now, in you. Of course. We'll never let any of that happen again. I do not doubt it. And now, my peace is spoken. I meet oblivion content. What? With the seal that bound me undone, I pose a danger to you. Our souls will war for sovereignty of your flesh, and in time, destroy it from within. It is the way of these things. However, such a fate only comes to pass if I do remain. Wait, you're saying you'll disappear instead of me? You can't! I still need you! No, you do not. I ask only for this, Yuma. That I survived Ragnarok at all is something I paid for with my brethren's lives. And now, at the end of things, I must disappear like the other world dragons before me. I was a shade of myself, left to haunt this world until my labor was done. And now it is so. Maeus is thwarted, and catastrophe averted. Whatever reasons I had to continue selfishly imposing myself upon you are gone. Oh, Yuma. Remember that I have always been with you. Since the day of your birth, I have walked beside you. I have seen you grow from a boy into a man, and borne witness to the endless threads of potential that bind such a path. And now I am given a choice. To end my life, its purpose fulfilled, or yours. Yet unlived, there is no choice at all. So do not ask me to stay. I cannot. Merely listen to an old dragon's last request, and I shall accept this end gladly. Last request? Yuma. Live your life unburdened, with your eyes to the future. Too long have phantoms of the past tormented you and your friends. Let me go now. You've dwelt in the shadow of my wings long enough. Go back to your friends, and stretch your own. Okay. Okay, Shining Dragon. I can do that. Thank you for everything. And I do mean... everything. I was glad to have you with me. Goodbye, Shining Dragon. Farewell, Yuma. 
face the future standing, for I can no longer bear you toward it. For my part, it was a pleasure. Dragon said if we played the last song, everything would be okay. So we played it. And you're back. He said if we made our hearts as one as we played the song, you'd come back to life. We were all thinking about just one thing. I don't believe I've ever had such an experience. When our hearts became one, the melody seemed to manifest on its own. You all did that? Even you, Excella? Yes, I can attest to that feeling. Warm, and somehow grand, as if I'd cast my heart like a net and embraced the whole world. Such a wonderful song. Wonderful, and fateful. That was the truth I've been chasing after all this time. Am I redeemed? Was this enough to right my wrongs? When I held the Shining Dragon, all I caused was tragedy. Surely, surely this absolves me. Speaking of which, Yuma, where is his radiance? I thought I'd be able to sense his presence like always, but when I tried to feel for him... <sighs> Oh, I see. Yuma, don't blame yourself. I won't. He said he was meeting the end happy. That he was satisfied trusting the future to all of us. And he thanked us for granting his final wish. Inheritors to the last of the world dragons. That's quite an expectation to live up to. I had no idea. If that's so, we have a duty to make it a better place. Yeah. I think that's the only way we can live out his legacy. And let's put our heads together on it, yeah? Not just for our sakes, or Astoria's, for his. We gotta start planning out how we're gonna rebuild. There's a lot of stuff to get done. Yes. Yes, of course. But let's go back to Marka first and report to Father. Everyone must be sick with worry. An excellent idea. Let's go. for all you've done. Yuma? Are you all right? Come on! You don't want to get left behind! <laughs> uh, yeah! Hey, wait for me! Let's go home. 